Bonjour, bonjour mon ami. This is the sight that greets me every morning when I come down to my allotment. It's about nine o'clock now. It's got too hot to work in the allotment. I've been down here a couple of hours so I thought I'd just take a quick video clip to show you what's contained down here. There's my bike which I come down in in the morning. I'm taking this courgette and beetroot back to my neighbour. Just look at this lavender. It's an absolute mass of bees, butterflies and moths, hover moths, which stick their tongues out and get the nectar out of the plants. Over there is the asbest asparagus, asbestos, asparagus bed where we got loads of asparagus back in April. Oh, there goes a snake. There, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. There's a snake in front of me. I've seen it once or twice already this morning. I think he's probably more scared than me. And here is the plum trees. There are several plum trees here. There are different varieties and they'll soon be ready. And there's a bottle brush. In amongst the plum trees there are squashes and there are melons. And I'm just going to carry on slowly up here to see if I can find that snake again. It's, I've seen several snakes down here. Uh, most of them have been much bigger than that one. No, nope, I can't see him. He's probably hiding somewhere. Right, come out here. Here's a load of tomatoes. More squashes. And over here is my greenhouse with the wasps nests in it. And look at that. My first vine. I bought that a couple of months ago and put that in. And that's growing well. No sign of the snake. And out here, over here, we've got some outdoor cucumbers. And there's a nice cucumber, and over here is another nice cucumber. Probably have that for tea, I should say. Oh, and there's some sweet corn you can see growing over there as well, some later planted sweet corn. Still a bit wary of that snake. Anyway, walking back across the other side of the garden, there's our sunroom, gazebo with a wisteria hanging down. That's obviously all finished now. Look at this sweet corn. It is just crazy. Loves this climate. And there's the beetroot. Got some beetroot growing there. More than we need. Friends and relatives can have that. Lettuce. Ah, just beyond the lettuce, you can see there is a bed of gherkins for pickling. And over there, some more squashes and pumpkins. There's the fig tree. And that is the clementine tree, which is full of baby clementines. Let's just walk back this way and see what we can find. No snake, hopefully. Nope, can't see it. I hope it's gone. Back through the rose arch. Back up towards the lavender. And this is where I spend several hours. Well, no, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Every day, in the old hand pump. I use that to fill up the container and that comes out of my well and I filled it up and watered the plants back to the raspberries two rows of raspberries some apple trees the apple trees don't look very good to me they don't look very healthy and then finally more courgettes more tomatoes and they'll be ready soon oh I might have some of those for tea and finally a look at the sky Wow. Okay, see you soon.